Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will upgrade the power supply of Lenovo ThinkStation E32. It comes with a standard power supply of 270 watts, which is not enough if you want to uh, add one GPU like NVIDIA GTX 1060 or uh, some higher that has the max uh, that has the tdp of approximately 120 watt so this is the standard power supply which is basically 120 uh, sorry 270 watts and uh, let us first uh, disassemble it so disconnected this uh, atx some specialized ATX connector and then this PS connector. This supply basically comes with uh, only two connectors and the other connectors like SATA power uh, basically come from the board. So let us disassemble and remove this power supply. This is basically standard form factor and so it has four screws at the back so after uh, removing these four screws this power supply can be removed easily so basically this is the power supply which is basically uh, 500 watts to which i want to upgrade and uh, as the system comes with the standard uh, power supply module so any standard power supply can be uh, used for the system so adding these four screws to make it in the system so basically uh, this power supply comes with the standard uh, 24 pin connector so i am using this uh, 24 pin to 14 pin connector converter this is basically uh, 24 pin side of the adapter It has basically two PS connectors. Uh, one only one of them will be used here, and uh, another is cable that comes with uh, two SATA connectors, and then another cable which comes with another two SATA connectors and one classic Molex connector. And then uh, there are two eight pin connectors which can be used as six pin connectors if you want to use a eight pin gpu you can easily use this power supply let us assemble this power supply it has basically some uh, large wires so we will have to uh, manage it so i am using the space above the uh, optical drive to uh, <clears throat> place extra cables let us connect the SATA power cables for uh, hard drive and SSD let us now add the lid of the system and here is I have connected all the cables and let us now test so as you can see it is successfully turned on so you can upgrade such kind of systems with the standard power supplies if you like the video subscribe my channel